Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Nick. And this is Cab Micro TV. And today we have a very exciting show for you. Yep, I'm really excited about this one, guys. So I don't know about you, Sarah, but I know that my customers have been calling in, emailing in, asking, hey Nick, can we use SolidWorks to work with point cloud data, right. meshes, mm -hmm. right? If we want to bring reverse engineering in-house, how do we do that? Can we pair it with our CMM, our tactical metrology solution, or can we replace it all together with optical metrology? That's right, all great questions. Yeah. So we're gonna actually be speaking to Rob Johnston, who's our Director of Metrology, and David Lee, who's one of our Application Specialists. Oh, I'm ready for this one. So we have a number of features that were added to the HSQ that sets it apart from some of its uh, other competitor products. Um, so I'll just list a few of those uh, in detail here. So the first one I'll go over is the flexible measuring volume that we have for the sensor. We have the ability to just switch out the camera lenses to either increase or decrease the sensor's measuring volume, which in turn allows us to scan larger or smaller objects as necessary. Um, another feature would be the blue light equalizer that we have in the projector, uh, which shines a very, very bright and fine blue light uh, projection on our part. And that gives us much better data quality um, and combined with the high resolution that you can achieve with the 12 megapixels, um, you'll see that with the HSQ, you have uh, very, very good quality scan data uh, coming out of it. Um, another great feature that we have is triple scan principle. So triple scan principle is the ability for the sensor to scan a very, very narrow features as well as deep pockets. Uh, it also, also allows us to scan reflective objects uh, much better as well. Um, and coming from the uh, optical metrology world, um, reflective parts is a bit of a challenge. However, ATOS Cube delivers us a solution for that, where the uh, majority of the time we do not need to apply developer on our parts to scanning. Um, another great feature is, of course, uh, the upgraded uh, data transfer method with the fiber optics cable that we have here. Um, so there, therefore, we are able to achieve very, very quick scans of less than a second each. Um, and get the feedback from the computer right away. Um, and another thing is the ability to automate the sensor uh, if needed. So combining it with a automated rotation table like you see here, or if we wanted to put it inside a scan box, which is our fully automated solution with the robot arm, uh, we can do that as well. So those are all the features that uh, definitely set it apart inside the market. Absolutely, this scanner can be fully automated. One of the value-added statements about GOM is you can start off in a manual type operation like here and, and configure this equipment all the way up to a fully automated solution. So this sensor can go on the end effector of a robot, such as our scan cobot or our scan box solution. And the difference between those is industrial robot versus a collaborative robot. The same sensor will go on both of those robot applications. So yeah, you can get it out of the box in an automated way or actually start off manual and migrate your equipment, kind of future-proofing your investment into a fully automated solution later. Yes, the ATOS Q will help in that regard of the comparing the old Bronco parts to the new ones, in that the ATOS Q will help you uh, measure the old part, we call it sometimes call that reverse engineering use all of the properties about about reflective surfaces and a little bit larger volume and things like that and allow you to use something really special in the software that allows you to compare one mesh to a second mesh. So that would be comparing your old part to your new part without having to go and get a CAD model, go to engineering and request information. So yeah, the ATOS Q together with the GOM software will allow you to compare those parts and see if they're conforming, see if they're geometry matches the old shape and, and all those sorts of evaluations. So in terms of the uh, part sizes that we can scan with the ATOS Cube, uh, first I just want to uh, go over quickly the measuring volumes that we have available for this sensor. So we have uh, measuring volumes uh, ranging from 100 millimeters down uh, over to 500 millimeters um, and three more uh, measuring volumes in between. So if you can imagine that range, uh, we can, uh, if you were to uh, describe it visually, uh, we can basically just uh, 
scan anything that fits within the palm of my hand, um, all, all the way over to something as large as a car engine. Um, so that would be the ideal size range for the Atos Q. Um, you can also upsize the product that you need to scan as well, like for example, a, a car body frame. Uh, we can pair the sensor with a uh, photogrammetry solution uh, called the TriTop, which allows us to measure very, very large objects. Um, and then with that technology, we can increase the size that we need to, uh, or increase the size of the parts that we're able to scan with the Atos Q. Um, but um, just speaking strictly about the sensor, we can once again uh, scan anything that fits inside a palm of your hand, uh, all the way up to something similarly sized to a car engine. So if we were to place the Atos Q um, in a line uh, from the entry level to the highest level uh, in terms of the product specifications, um, I would place the Atos Q in the middle, upper middle tier range. Um, and the justification for that would be um, the quality of the data that you get with the 8 or 12 megapixel resolution, which is very high. Um, so you get much better quality and uh, data clarity uh, with your scan data. Um, the ability to have the flexible measuring volume, uh, which allows for easy uh, transfer of volumes or the ability to scan different size parts, is also a great benefit. Um, and another reason for it is also the ability to automate the Atos Q in a number of different environments, whether you're pairing it with an automated table like you see here, or inside a scan box, which is a fully automated solution with a robot arm that the sensor is mounted to. Um, having that ability as well is what sets it apart um, and which all those reasons are why I would place it in the upper mid-tier range. One of the features, uh, which is the ability to change the measuring volume as needed, uh, allows for the flexible uh, workflow. So there's no need to buy separate sensors or separate measuring volumes in order to uh, facilitate or uh, be able to scan uh, different size parts from time to time. Uh, we can use one single sensor and simply just swap out the camera lenses, uh, which makes it much easier. And that whole process of changing the lenses and calibrating really only takes less than 10 minutes, so it's very quick and easy. Um, another feature that's really good uh, that customers can take advantage of is the triple scan principle. Um, so triple scan principle, uh, once again, is the feature that allows us to measure deep pockets, narrow uh, features, as well as reflective surfaces. And we all know that with optical based systems, especially with reflective surfaces, uh, sometimes that can be a challenge. However, with that uh, triple scan principle embedded now in our Atos Q, uh, we have less of a need to spray or apply developer um, on parts that are reflective. The Atos Q can mitigate that uh, through that uh, very special feature. Absolutely. Uh, for our Canadian customers, to get more information on the Atos Q and the solutions we have to offer, our website is a great resource for that information where you can see movies, you can see specifications. But in this industry, one of the most common things is send us a part, uh, we can scan it for you, you can uh, evaluate it through the GOM Inspect free software all on your own. And that's the best way to really evaluate if this sensor can measure your parts. Wow. Let's get scanning. Yeah, those guys weren't meshing around. <laughs> Joke in the script. Yeah, you know what, scratch it. Let's just scratch so it. So if you want more information, uh, you can write to us at salesacabmicro.com or I, click the link below. We got a link down there? <laughs> I keep so. forgetting about it. And guys, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'm Nick. I'm Sarah. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon.